Hi all, I'm Delta Charlie to Whiskey Kilo and I like to show you the update from my Arduino VNA antenna analyzer. So, like you see, my display is arrived and I have built it in. I have here two keys, two switches for up and down frequency and um, I have here a little hole where I can reset start new the Arduino and I have in the moment <coughs> I have a coil here and a little um, resonator a coil and a, a capacitor for testing the dip meter functions with that display I like to show you how it starts Now the Arduino is rebooting. Arduino antenna analyzer. <coughs> I don't know, you can read it. This is the initial screen coming from the firmware. Now it's going to start. He is scanning now. I think you don't see it. Here you see a little line what works up. So, here we are, we have here a peak, here, from the dip by 12.088 MHz. So, that's uh, the overview, when I, I um, modify the firmware complete, and I modify the software for Windows, so I build a lot of new functions in what I need, what I think to need. And here the um, old firmware was like this, that uh, a complete scan is made, like this, from 1 to 30 megahertz. And then with one of that button you can jump to the first point where a resonance is found. So this is a nice idea, but when you have an antenna a multiband antenna with a lot of resonances over the whole band, then you only have the first one in detail. So that don't was me enough. So I made here uh, um, a software update. I can switch now after the over, uh, overview scan. I can switch now to the detail mode. And the detail mode scan go quite fast. So here we have no resonance, sure. That was from 1 to 3 megahertz. Now from 3 to 5. See how fast it is? So I make the firmware a lot of faster. Uh, like my calculations, uh, the software is now 5 times faster. So this here is the speed from the display. So we can change this. It's a cheap display. Now we are from 7 to 9. And by the next one, 9 to 11. And now we come to the point where the resonance must be. So, here you see. Very nice, very nice. See? So, in the detail, we have a higher resolution. The frequency is now 12.196. So, I like to show you now the antenna with the antenna. So here we are again. I have now a, here a complete scan with the butternut from 1 to 30 megahertz. So the underst line here is um, 0. The next line is 1 to 1.5 and this here is 5 and the other is 10. So we see here a little dip by it. I know it's 3.7 megahertz but you can read it here, it's not detailed enough. So let's go to the detail view. So now we from 1 to 3. So we have over 1.1 1 to 1 1.5. It's over 2, I think. So now we are here on the 80 meter range. 
and here here we see a dip see here it go down to zero and the resonance frequency is 3.765 with a good SWR from 1 to 1.01 so and so you can see it for every detail range you can see here the minimum frequency see here we are from 5 to 7 and the best one here is 1 to uh, 1 to 1.15 on 7 megahertz so by the next step we see the 40 meter band so here we are here it goes down 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 and after 7.5 it go up so the best one here is by 7.216 megahertz so at the end of the 40 meter band and so on so I think it's a nice project I love it and I changed a lot of stuff I invest a lot of time to optimize the firmware and the Windows program and I'm very happy with the display is good enough the battery pack is strong enough I have two echoes inside uh, with uh, 3.6 volts and 1600 milliamps so we have here over 7 volts that goes to uh, uh, 7805 um, um, secured and we have 5 volts for the Arduino after that so I think I can work with uh, 20 hours with one battery charge and here I can charge it with 9 volts so it's very nice when I love to uh, connect the USB then I have here here a little screw I open that then I can disconnect it and I have here the USB port so here is um, as a, a nut in and here's a screw so that's all I hope you enjoy the video and have a lot of fun to build the same it's a very nice project maybe one time a DDS module comes out what goes up to uh, 150 megahertz then I will upgrade it in the moment it only goes up to 30 megahertz 40 with a lot of luck 50 it's not so I'm not so happy with the resolution, with the resolution on 50 but uh, up to 30 it works and it's a nice project so 73 have a lot of fun maybe we hear us on the band when I have time <laughs> by this lot of projects okay 73 here is Delta Charlie 2 Whiskey Kilo